In this video, how to deploy OpenVPN Connect using Microsoft Intune. The first and recommended method is deploying it using the Win32 app type for advanced controls. First, download the MSI installer from the official website. Alternatively, we can use the Windows Package Manager to download the installer. Windows Package Manager is a free tool pre-installed on Windows 11 and recent versions of Windows 10. To download via Windows Package Manager, open PowerShell or Terminal as an administrator and run the following command. The output will provide a direct download link, and the installer will be saved in the Downloads folder. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .intunewin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, rename the downloaded file to setup.msi for consistency. Then. Copy the renamed file into the input folder created earlier. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunwin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic creating the .intunwin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunwin file is being created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and create a Windows app deployment. From the drop-down menu, select Windows App Win32 as the app type. For the app package file, select the output in tune file that you created.
On the app information page, input required details like the app name, description, and publisher's name. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. This logo is displayed in the company portal, making it easier for users to recognize the app. On the program page, all settings are pre-configured, so you can leave them as default. On the requirements page, configure the conditions that devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the operating system architecture, minimum OS version. Detection rules let you verify if the app is already installed. You can choose to use a custom detection script or manually configure a detection rule. In this video, we'll use the manually configured detection rule option. Select MSI as the rule type and the product code will automatically populate. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedence to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the uninstall deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select add all devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review all your settings and click Create to finalize. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the file upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify the app deployment, log in to a managed device and allow time for system sync. You can manually trigger a sync from the Windows settings, the company portal, or by restarting the computer. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been successfully installed automatically. Within the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page. This page shows a breakdown of successfully deployed devices, installations in progress, and any errors. The deployment status in Intune may take time to update, so please be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it automatically. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Once the sync is completed, 
the app will automatically be removed from targeted devices. The second method is deploying the app as a line of business LOB app in Intune. This approach is simpler but provides fewer deployment options compared to the Win32 method. You just need to download the MSI installer and deploy it directly through Intune without conversion. Log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app as usual. From the drop-down menu, select the Line of Business App option. Line of Business App directly support the MSI format, which we'll use. For App Package File, select the previously downloaded MSI installer file. Some necessary fields will be populated automatically. You only need to fill in the publisher's name and optionally upload a logo for the company portal. On the assignments page, choose how the app will be deployed. For instance, I'll choose to make the app available to enrolled devices, allowing users to install it easily through the company portal. Click Create button and wait for the app to upload to Microsoft Intune. On managed devices, users can log into the company portal and install the app themselves. As you can see, the app will not be installed automatically. Instead, users have the option to manually install it from the company portal. To uninstall the app from devices, shift the targeted group to the Uninstall section, similar to the Win32 app method. The last method is deploying the app via the Enterprise App Catalog in Microsoft Intune. The Enterprise App Catalog is a Microsoft solution that simplifies application management with a pre-packaged catalog of apps within the Intune platform. Before you begin, note that Enterprise App Management is an Intune add-on that is part of the Intune suite. Make sure you have an Intune suite subscription before proceeding. Log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app as usual. After obtaining the required license, the Enterprise App Catalog option becomes available from the drop-down menu. Click Search the Enterprise App Catalog and locate the app. The Configuration tab shows available options like Language, Architecture, and Version. Keep the app settings at the default values unless you'd like to make it available on the company portal with customizations, such as adding a custom logo. Review pre-filled installation parameters. Changes are usually unnecessary, but can be made.
The requirements page is also pre-configured to match vendor specifications. Detection rules, based on file size, version, or registry values, are auto-filled as well. Assign the app to target user or device groups as needed. For example, I will assign the app as a required app, so it will be installed automatically on managed devices. Review configurations and add the app to Intune. With this method, you don't need to download any installers or convert files into Intune package format. Microsoft takes care of all the steps for you. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app automatically. To uninstall the app from devices, simply move the targeted group to the Uninstall section, similar to other methods. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.